Hi everyone. Welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I'm Yogesh Bawne. So today I've come up with a project as you can see on the screen that is home automation using the Blink IT platform. Now here we are going to control the four relays and based on that four relays you can control four electrical appliances. Now I will directly jump on to the Blink IT platform. In the Blink IT platform first you need to create the template. So here you can see I have already created the template that is home automation using Blink IT platform. So if you don't know about how to create template inside the Blink IT platform then you need to watch my previous video which is completely getting started for the Blink IT platform where you will learn about how to create web dashboard how to create mobile dashboard and how to create the data stream and the template so i'll mention the link in the i button as well as in the description box so here inside the data stream you can see i have created four data stream that is switch 1 switch 2 switch 3 and switch 4 so in order to create the data stream you need to click on new data stream and select the virtual pin and give the name like switch 5 or something like that so i have used here four channel relay that's why i have used here four data stream and select the virtual pin as v5 and then select the data type as integer so this is how you need to create the data stream so i will not create the data stream now so we have created four data stream now go to web dashboard here you need to create four switches for controlling the four different relays just drag and drop the switch widget here you can see and just click on setting icon and then you need to then you need to select the data stream for that particular widget so this is how we have created the web dashboard for creating the mobile dashboard we need to use the blink mobile application so here i'll just wanted to explain you how to create the mobile dashboard now on the screen you can see my mobile app the template that you have created is already appear here now just click on that template now click on setup dashboard click on three lines on the top right corner select button then again click on that button and give the title as switch 1 select the data stream as a switch 1 and here you need to select the mode type as a switch and again you can able to select the color as well go back you can see you have added one widget now let's add three more click on button give the title as switch 2 select data stream as switch 2 select as switch change the color to blue go back again add one button just configure it just give the name as switch 3 select data stream as switch 3 select as switch change color to green just go back again add one more button just configure it give the name switch 4 select data stream as switch 4 select as a switch and change color to orange let's go back now you can see on the screen we have added four switches for controlling the four relays you can adjust the size of this widget as well so what i can do i'll just place it below one another so we have set up the mobile dashboard as you can see on the screen now we will see the most important part of this project that is circuit diagram and the programming now here you can see i have used the easy eda for making this circuit diagram so i have used four channel relay board and the esp32 so here you can see four channel relay board has ground and vcc connection so ground is connected to the ground pin of the esp32 board and the vcc is connected to the v in of the esp32 board so these are the digital pins for controlling the relays input 1 input 2 input 3 and input 4 So input one is connected to the pin number eighteen. You can see input one is connected to the pin number eighteen of the ESP thirty two board. Input two is connected to the pin number thirty three of the ESP thirty two board. So input three is connected to the pin number twenty one, and input four is connected to the pin number twenty seven. So this is the simple connection that you can use. So here I have used the random digital pins of the ESP thirty two board. You can use any digital pins for controlling the relay. So on the right hand side of the relay board you can see NC that is normally closed common and the NO. So if you don't know about how to connect electrical appliances with the relay then don't do it because you might get electric shock. Just do it in the supervision of someone. So now we'll see the most important part of this project that is programming. Now for adding Blink template ID, Blink device name and Blink authorization token you need to go to the Blink console. Just go to the Blink console. Here you can see we have added two templates here 
now we need to add the device to this particular template now how can you add the device to the template so there are two ways to add the device to the template one is by using the android application and one is on the blink console here you can see click on search icon here you can see the new device just click on new device so here i'm using the free version of the blink rt platform so i cannot add more than two device so this is the second way of adding the device to the template you just need to click on new device then select your template and then click on add device now here you can see our device is offline now just click on that device now go to the device info and just copy this data that is template id device name and the authorization token just go to your Arduino code and just paste it here here what you need to change the ssid name and the password for the ssid just add your ssid name and the password here you can use your mobile hotspot as well just enter the password and the name of that hotspot now for controlling the relay we need to write to the virtual pin so here we are writing the virtual pin v1 by using this command that is blink underscore write v1 now inside this what we have written so inside this we have written one variable that is switch1 so whenever you are toggling that web dashboard switch1 then value gets stored inside this variable that is switch1 if the switch1 is on then that means the value is 1 that is high then what we wanted to do we wanted to turn on the relay 1 so the relay 1 is connected to the pin number 18 so that's why digital write 18 high and also if you wanted to print it on the serial monitor then you can use serial.println that relay 1 is high if the switch 1 is low that means if you have toggled that web dashboard switch to off position then value gets low and then what we wanted to do then digital write pin number 18 to the low that means it will turn off this is very simple so we have written this for controlling the relay 1 so data stream v1 is used for switch 1 that is for relay 1 so v2 is for switch 2 that is for relay 2 v3 is for switch 3 that is for relay 3 v4 is for switch 4 that is for relay 4 so now we have done this for the v1 now let's do the same thing for virtual pin v2 that is for relay 2 so we have created the variable that is switch 2 so we are storing the values inside this variable that is switch 2 so if the switch 2 is high then we wanted to turn on the relay 2 which is connected to the pin number 33 so digital write pin number 33 high and if the switch 2 is low then digital write 33 low so same code you need to write for controlling the relay 3 by using blink underscore write virtual 3 and the for controlling the relay 4 you can see it's same now what we have done inside the white setup so inside the white setup as you know that we need to define which pins are output pin and which pins are input pins so here you can see we have used here pin number 18 33 21 and 27 so all these pins are output pins so we have defined that so at the time of start we wanted to turn off all the relays so that's, so that's why we have set up pin mode 18 33 21 27 as a low so rest of the part is same this is very simple and basic program for controlling the relay or you can say for controlling the home appliances so i will add the circuit diagram and code in the description box so i have already uploaded the same code so i'll go back to the dashboard so just go to the search icon and just click on that now you can see the device is offline so let me connect my device so as you can see on the screen the device is online the, so blink rt platform pretty fast in that so as you can see on the screen the circuit is in action now all the relays are in off position as you can see now what i'll do i'll just turn on switch one you can see on the screen the output so switch one is turned on that means relay one is on so whenever we connect any appliances on this relay one board it will get controlled now let's turn on switch two so switch two is turned on as you can see on the screen now let's turn on switch three so switch three is turned on now let's turn on switch four so switch four is turned on as you can see our project is completely working fine so this is how we can able to build the home automation project by using the blink platform.
If you found this video useful, then do subscribe the channel. It will not cost you anything and like the video. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.